Chapman. And first up, your big story tonight, the Drake Power Plant fire. Heavy fire in one of the buildings forced evacuation. Smoke could be seen from many parts of the city. Evacuations were sent out for anyone within a three-block radius of the plant because of a possibility of dangerous chemicals being released into the air. The fire started around 9.30 this morning. Drake Power Plant is located in the 700 block of Conejo Street. Cimarron Street was closed at I-25. Now, here's what we know tonight. Conejo Street is still closed from Cimarron to Baltic. Evacuation orders have been lifted. There were two injuries, one minor. The other person was taken to the hospital. Colorado Springs Utility says electricity has been restored to those who lost power. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. And it was a frightening morning for the plant workers and people working and living nearby. Caridio News Channel 13's Olivia Wilmson has been covering this fire since it started. And Olivia, we hear everyone inside that plant made it out safely. Yes, they did, luckily, James and Heather. Take a look over my shoulder here. There's still firefighters uh, on top of the roof taking a look at the damage here. They are here to make sure that any hot spots that may have uh, been here at the power plant uh, uh, do uh, stay safely here. Now, we do know that one... Uh, CSU employee was injured. Paramedics treated and released him for minor injuries here, and a contractor went to the hospital for non life threatening injuries. A few of the workers here working at the plant talked to me, and they tell me that they worked quickly to get everyone out safe. Smoke billowed out of the Drake power plant. The typical white plume was black today. You go from just working to all of a sudden. I mean, it was within five seconds, boom, and that whole plant was full of smoke. Scaffolding builder Vincent O'Donnell says he was on the fifth floor, 90 feet off the ground when the fire started. We all just, you know, everybody get out, and we made sure that all of our guys got out, and the plant did a good job, and everybody did a pretty good job of getting everybody out of there. A contractor who's been in the business for 35 years says this isn't the first time he was working when something went wrong. Uh, Comanche, we had this happen, and we had this happen in Virginia. And, you know, it's kind of a common thing. We're trained to do this. You know, our unions train us for emergency, you know, situations. So this is part of, part of the training. Police officers were worried the pressure building up inside could cause another problem. So people living and working nearby voluntarily evacuated. My mom came in and she was like, guys, we got to leave. And I was like, why? What's going on? She was like, well, the plant just exploded. And I was like, what? And she was like, well, we just got to leave. The Red Cross opened an evacuation center for people who wanted to cool off and get away from the chaos. I didn't think anything was going to happen where we lived. But it's a situation everyone needs to be prepared for. If you work in an industrial area, you're very, very aware of the risks. But um, for it to happen like that, you know, it, don't get complacent. You have to be ready for when stuff like that does happen. The Red Cross Evacuation Center closed shortly after the voluntary evacuations were lifted this afternoon. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Olivia Wilson, Cardio News Channel 13. Olivia, thanks so much. And Colorado Springs.